Ooh, if you guys have stuck with me this long, you're in the home stretch, uh, so let's keep it up. We're going to look at smart objects today, and smart objects we briefly touched on in another lesson, um, and we're going to hit it pretty hard this lesson. You do have to do a lot with smart objects in your actual test, so let's navigate back to Classcraft and make sure that we grab uh, the attachment called smart objects. I'm just going to go to part one, even though I'm attaching them to everything. So smart objects, download it, open it up and say enable editing. Let's go ahead and kill the last document that we were working on. Don't save it just in case we want to play around with it later. And uh, if you look at the smart objects document here, um, there's uh, actually a couple pieces of smart art already um, in here that we're going to be modifying. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at this. Number one, rearrange the text in the smart art graphic so that the Koros is above pH balance. Um, so let's look right here is our smart art. And we know it's smart art if we click on it. It'll actually say Smart Art Tools up at the very top. And notice how in Smart Art Tools, we actually get Design and we get Format tabs, all right? So it says it just wants us to rearrange so that Koros is above pH balance. And what I always see my students doing is like clipping or cutting and pasting and trying to move one thing. So just look at your bulleted list here and click right beside where it says Koros. And under the Design uh, tab, um, you can say Move Up. And I think you can also just right click and say Move Up. All right, so chorus is now above pH. All right, so we can rearrange um, our shapes and our smart art um, just by clicking. Uh, cut the heading monthly te testing and paste it above the list that begins with alkalinity levels. So cut, just as, this is just a cut and paste kind of thing. Um, monthly testing, cut the heading that begins with monthly testing. Oh, right here. It wants us to move this heading and put it right here. So there's a lot of different ways to move text. Um, I'm just gonna select this one right here. I'm gonna right click and say cut. I'm gonna click over here uh, in this little space above alkalinity levels and I'm gonna select paste. And now there's three different options for pasting. One of them will allow you to keep the source formatting so it'll look exactly like it did when you cut it. And then this last option right here will actually remove all the formatting so you can just have text only. I'm gonna use the first paste option and just paste in monthly testing. I'm also gonna turn off show hide. Under the home tab, I still have my show hide turned on from the last lesson. So go ahead and turn that off. All right, and let's move on. Um, locate the list that begins with alkalinity levels and change the numbering to uppercase letters A, B, C instead of bullets. All right, so right here, instead of bullets, they want us to use a numbered list, but they don't want us to use just any numbered list. Your numbered lists are right here. Here's your bullets. And if you click the drop down, here's all of our different bullets. And here's your numbered list. And if you click the drop down, what they want us to do is use this type of numbering alignment, ABC. Boom, just like that, all right? So we've now changed our bulleted list to a numbered list, even though it's not numbers. That's what they want you to do, all right? Um, in the sentence that begins with Martinique, um, insert a registered sign at the end of pool and spa services. So registered signs and trademark signs, Martinique here. Right here. Um, insert. And under the symbols category here, we have all kinds of different um, things that we can insert. So here's a trademark symbol that we can insert. Here's a copyright symbol right here. And what, it's, what do they want us to do? Insert a registered sign. Um, so that'll look like a little R. Um, and if you don't see it in here, which I don't, you can go to, oh, it's right there. Uh, you can go to more symbols and locate it as well. But there's our little registered sign right there. And let's make this a little wider. So it looks like that. Martinique registered right there. All right. Um, so boom. format the title salt water pool and spa services as word art, as a word art text box. Use a style gradient fill gray. So um, word art's kind of cool. Uh, so let's find salt water pool and spa maintenance services. Cleaning and maintenance right there. No, so water pool and spot means okay. So, um, select the text here, and under the home tab, we actually have this little thing called uh, word art. Under the drawing tools, <clears throat> excuse me, under the drawing tools, we also have different pieces of word art. Notice how we have word art styles right here. And if you click the drop down next to quick styles, um, you can, you're gonna find gradient fill gray right there. Um, it's also under the home tab. If you just click this little glowing blue A, you also have word art here. 
So gradient fill gray. It doesn't matter where you do it, as long as you get the right piece of word art style in your actual text. All right. And that's all we have to do with um, smart art. I also just want to go over a couple of things with smart art. Remember that if you want to delete smart art, the quickest way to delete smart art is just open up your bulleted list here by clicking on the little arrow beside your smart art and um, backspacing to delete a bullet. All right. Let me undo that. If I want to go ahead and demote or take out a piece of smart art um, or take a, le a level one bullet in, in, in smart art and send it to level two, that's just a tab. Remember that only level one bullets get their own shape in smart art. So if you click on the bullet and you press tab, um, notice how it actually takes it down and gets rid of the shape because it's no longer a level one bullet. I've now demoted this bullet to a level two. If I press shift tab, I'm going to promote it back up to a level one bullet and level one bullets get their own shape. Um, also, uh, under the Smart Art Design tab, they're going to have you doing something called changing colors. All right. So if you want to change the way your Smart Art looks, you have a colorful range here and you have colorful range accent five to six and accent four to five. I've seen that on your test before. Um, I've also seen different types of Smart Art styles, like 3D Smart Art styles. But no matter what you have to do with Smart Art, when you click on the piece of Smart Art, you only get two tabs. You get the Design tab and the Format tab, and everything you're going to need to do is going to be under these two tabs. All right, so just kind of remember that. And remember, you can switch the direction of your Smart Art right here. All right, so that's a lot about Smart Art. Um, this is a real short little video, a little six minute snippet about Smart Art. And we only have one more section, and then we are done with our test review. And then you'll definitely ace that test. All right. So uh, let's do this. Keep it going, guys. One more, one more part.